this is a story that I need to tell and get this get this thing off my chest <laughs> as an endodontist. So this patient was referred to me in 2019 for endodontic treatment of tooth number 14. You can see a huge peripheral lucency here, right? Huge peripheral lucency. All right. Here too, smaller degree, but huge one here. Okay, so that was in 2019. There was a large buccal parialis and sinus tract associated with the tooth also, as you can see right there. This is another picture of it, and that's that's the tooth right there, and you can see the buccal parialis and sinus tract associated with the tooth right there in 2019. This was immediately after we did the root canal on this tooth, tooth number 14, in 2019. As you can see, beautiful. Everything went beautifully. The apical diameter of the palatal canal was over 70, so I just obturated the whole canal with MTA. I temporized the tooth and referred the patient back to her dentist for the permanent restoration. Again, this is immediately after we did the root canal for her in one appointment, one visit. And as you can see, here's the date, 2019. All right, so four years ago. All right. Well, she came in today after four years. She never went back to her dentist after we did the root canal for her. She never went back to the dentist to have the tooth permanently restored. Now take a look at the tooth, look at the condition of the tooth. This was today. This was the condition of the tooth today after four years. She never went back to have the tooth permanently restored. But look, what happened to that large peripheral lucency right there? It healed completely, despite the fact that this tooth, this tooth hadn't been, hasn't been restored for the past four years. My temporary filling cavity is only good for three to four weeks, all right? She went without a temporary filling in her tooth for four years. Despite of that, that large peripheral lucency healed completely. But of course, the entire endoaxis was filled with food particles. This tooth, all the gutta percha, MTA, everything, everything has been exposed to the oral cavity, food, bacteria, fungi, viruses that live in our mouths for the past four years. So unfortunately, now either we would have to redo this root canal or she would have to extract the tooth because everything's been exposed to the oral cavity, to the bacteria in the oral cavity. So get the tooth. So as I was saying, she never got the tooth restored permanently. But despite all of that, that large peripheral resistance healed completely. Take a look. That's the date, date from today, as you can see. All right. So that just goes to show you, again, I don't want to brag, but how good my endo is, that despite the fact that it's been exposed to the oral cavity, fungi, bacteria, microorganisms, viruses, what have you, huge, what we call coronal leakage, Usually we, we, we say micro leakage, but in this case, it's, it's, forget it. It's not micro anymore. It's huge. It's macro. It's more than bigger than macro. Despite all of that, peripheral lucency healed completely. But now, of course, there's a problem that we can't uh, build the tooth up and crown it because all of this has been exposed. The gutta percha and MTA, all, all, they all have been exposed for the past four years. So, um, you put, you put, you build this tooth up and crown it, and in a few weeks, few months, couple of years, uh, she could develop a huge infection, and then, um, and then, you, you, the dentist, the dentist would be responsible. So, as you can see, this photo is from today. Remember that huge. Buccal pyrolus and sinus tract healed completely. It's no longer there. And look, there is no cavity, nothing left. Of course, as I was saying, cavity is only good for three, three to four weeks tops. We referred her to go see her dentist right away, but she never did, of course. And now everything, everything's been exposed. But again, as I was saying, that large buccal pyrolus and sinus tract is healed completely. And that large pair of lucencies healed completely.
but it doesn't matter. We would have to redo this root canal regardless. As far as redoing the MTA, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna to try to remove the MTA and see how far I can I can go using my ultrasonics. So putting them side by side. This is from 2019, so four years ago, and this X-ray is from today. So you can see that large pericolosis is healed completely right there. But I was saying it doesn't matter because got a percha, MTA, everything has been exposed to the oral cavity. So bacteria, fungi, viruses, what have you in the mouth. So we can't build, we cannot at this point build the tooth up and crown it. Unfortunately, we would have to redo the root canal. But listen to us when we say go back to your dentist and have the tooth restored permanently as soon as possible within a few days after the root canal. Listen to us.